Hey yo, Chris here. Uh, get a lot of questions about backpacking food, what kind of food to bring backpacking, and how much food to bring backpacking. So I've got a five day, four night uh, backpacking trip coming up and I have all my food laid out here. And a lot of this stuff is what I used on the uh, Appalachian Trail. And I've got a, a few things differently I've been using. So I wanted to make a quick video and share it with you guys. So you know, the basics of backpacking food are really pretty simple and you can kind of break it down into really three requirements for <clears throat> excuse me your food the first being you want to keep it lightweight so a lot of backpacking food needs to be dehydrated or freeze dried you really want to get rid of that water weight so you know nothing canned um, and with keeping the weight in mind I generally try to think about roughly two pounds of food per day is kind of a, a rule of thumb to make sure I'm getting getting enough food um, so the, the second requirement with your backpacking food would be uh, easy to prep. Um, you know, I don't bust out my stove until dinner time. So everything prior to dinner is going to be fast um, and minimal cleanup. So uh, I generally try to keep everything really ready to eat until the end of the day when I'm ready to unwind and take out the stove and cook and, you know, deal with dishes and all that kind of cleanup stuff. Um, the third thing for backpacking food is keep it high in nutrition. Um, you know, the estimates range for caloric burn, uh, but through hikers, Hiking 20 to 25 miles a day have been known to burn um, up to 6,000 calories a day. So, you know, for um, any kind of moderate hiking just for a few days on the trail, I generally try to get at least 3,000 calories a day. Uh, and try to also get, you know, a good balance of protein, fiber, fats, carbs, sodium, all that good stuff because you need it too in addition to calories. So we're going to start off with um, what I'm actually bringing. And we're going to start off with, the breakfast and go into snacks and lunch and finally dinner. So we have here uh, breakfast is uh, we have oatmeal cookie mix. Uh, I added some extra oats into it and I also added uh, powdered milk in here. So this is a really kind of nutrient dense uh, thing to get you going in the morning and pack in some calories and uh, you can eat it cold you know just add some water to it stir it up in your pot and uh, get to hiking um, you, I also can have cold coffee I know it sounds crazy but you can have some cold coffee I actually really like the um, Starbucks but the store didn't have Starbucks one so I got some Nescafe and um, so that's kind of my breakfast and these are a bunch of snacks that I'll probably just graze on um, either after breakfast or after lunch um, but starting off I've got seaweed uh, I love seaweed uh, it's a great vegetable to get on the trail um, you know it's really hard to get veggies on the trail so seaweed is a really nice lightweight um, dense green and then we got trail mix uh, got uh, dried fruit uh, and all, you know kind of a variety of nuts in there and some M&Ms and then we have some Gatorade powder and I'll got basically you know a scoop a scoop or so per day to kind of get those electrolytes replaced but also break up the monotony of water um, you know drinking water all the time the the idea of getting something a little bit sweet in there is, is really appealing usually when I find when I'm hiking um, then we have some you know crackers and peanut butter um, I love pork rinds. Uh, they're, you know, got protein in them, uh, a lot of sodium. Um, I think they taste great, and they're kind of really crunchy and crisp, which is uh, I find really nice and refreshing on the trail because uh, so much backpacking food is so dense. Um, next is uh, green belly, and I actually started making uh, green belly right after hiking the Appalachian Trail is a way to kind of get um, some dense, high-calorie nutrition and, and a ready-to-eat, all-natural format. So uh, you know, I've got green belly meals here. They've got a zip pouch seal. Inside is two um, all-natural kind of meal bars, and they're loaded with one-third of your daily nutrition for protein, calories, fiber, fats, carbs, and sodium. So I'll do that for lunch as a quick kind of non-cooked meal. And going into dinner... This is kind of, as I mentioned, the only time of the day I'll actually pull out the the stove and cook. You know, it's like at the end of the day, it's like, oh, okay, I can unwind now. Um, so I've got noodles, uh, red beans and rice, and beef jerky. So I 
coming with cooking, if it requires uh, a plate, bowl, anything like that, you know, I, I don't deal with it. It's really got to be uh, what's called, you know, one pot cooking, really simple stuff. So I'll do kind of some noodles and I like to sprinkle in some beef jerky. So I've got two packs here. I'll do maybe half a pack per night along with, you know, uh, the rice or the noodles or whatever. So that'll be my dinner. Um, and then going on to something kind of after, you know, dessert, you know, you, I generally sometimes bring some sort of candy, candy bar, something sweet, um, just something to look forward to. Also got some like uh, chamomile or decaffeinated tea before bed, um, something like that to just kind of wind down at the end of the day. And I've been getting in the habit of bringing a little bit of uh, whiskey, mixing that with water. Uh, I really love that. It doesn't add much weight and it can be something to really look forward to. So, um, yeah. That's the uh, backpacking food. Feel free to leave a comment and ask any questions and safe hiking.